all I remember, a girl got up and spoke. Now, I don't remember if it was part of the class. I don't remember if it was a specific assembly that I was called in to attend. Can't remember. But all I know is that either in 93 or 94, that I was sitting in this lecture hall with maybe 100 other people, and this girl gets up to the podium and gives what would now be called a TED Talk about how she had HIV and now full-blown AIDS. And I remember her just getting up there in that TED Talk way, giving the statement up front, I have AIDS. I don't know how long I have to live. Everyone's, oh, it wouldn't dawn on you that someone was lying about it. So immediately you're drawn in. And she said, I'm straight and, and I'm here to, she was basically there to destigmatize it as a gay disease. You know, anyone can get it and you can get it from a blood transfusion, you know, all that kind of thing. And I don't to this day know why she did it, but she told this story that she got it from, I want to say, I don't remember, but she said she got it from a blood transfusion or something to do with medical something, something like that. I, I wish I could remember, but all I just remember is her opening statement. I have AIDS and I don't know how long I'm going to live. And she just stood there. She didn't look sick, you know. I, I wish I could tell you I remembered what she talked about, but I just remember her smiling and saying, I you know, we all know we're going to die someday, but I know that I'm going to die possibly someday soon. And I know what I'm going to die of. And I am just living life to the fullest. And it was all that kind of thing. And then years later, I found out that she was a total fraud. Now, again, I don't, I just know that she was. Like, I know that I found out eventually, but I don't remember how. And I was already out of college. If, if, you, if this story sounds familiar, I'm desperate for anyone to contact me and tell me that you remember this. I've been Googling it. I can't find it anywhere, but it's just one of those things that made me realize you could get away with everything in the 90s because there was no social media. I, I mean, long I have to live. we would have been hashtagging her speech and putting it on TikTok and putting it on Twitter. And it would have been circulating enough that I feel like some younger detectives on TikTok would have figured out that she's full of shit or maybe her parents would have seen. I mean, I don't know, does her, did her parents know about this, I mean, was it a grift? What was she trying to do? I mean, there wasn't anything she could have been asking us for. No GoFundMe, oh, here's my Venmo. I, I don't know what she got. That's the even more psychotic thing is, is grifting in the old days when you, you just wanted to make a speech and say you had AIDS when you didn't. I, I have no idea. Anyway, I was just fascinated with this and wish I could remember and wish somehow this story could find its way back to me.